I have a YouTube video playing in a VLC media player window. To do that, I just pasted the YouTube address here under Open a Network Stream. Because it's playing in VLC Media Player, under the video menu icon heading, I can take a snapshot. And you'll see there, it's just taken a snapshot there. It's popped it here in my pictures. And there it is there. Now, instead of having to do this each time, take a snapshot, I can put an icon here along the toolbar. To do that, I'll just pause this video. To do that, under the Tools menu, I can customise the interface. You can see I've got a lot of tools here. And there's the Snapshot tool. Now, if you look at this row here, Play, Rewind, Stop, Fast Forward, Play, Rewind, Stop, Fast Forward, Full Screen, you can see here that line two are the controls. All I need to do is to drag snapshot somewhere into that window. So if I was to put it here at the very start and click close, you can see it's added it there. So now when I press play, each time I click that, it takes a snapshot. And you can see that snapshot there. I'll just go forward to a different part of the video. There he is, smiling, take a snapshot, and there's that snapshot. Now I can use those snapshots in any program that I happen to be using, if it was a PowerPoint presentation or for the next activity, we can annotate those pictures. You'll also see under that customize in, uh, interface menu, some other options here. One that you should investigate or might investigate is this A to B loop. What it means is that if I was to add that to there, click close, I now have A to B loop in my video. And so when it's playing, if I click that, you can see the A is highlighted. And from there, if I click it again now, B, you'll see the video is just going to loop from 605, where my cursor is here, through to 609, 605, through to 609. So the two tools we added, snapshot, and A to B loop. To take it off A to B loop, you just click it a third time and the video will now play past 609.